Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to control an Unreal Engine vehicle using Leap Motion Controller. For this tutorial, I am using latest Unreal Engine version 5.2.1, Leap Motion Unreal SDK 5.2 and Ultra Leap SDK 5.13.2. Let's start by downloading the Unreal SDK from GitHub. Click here to go to the download session and select the latest version 5.2. Meanwhile, let's create a new vehicle Unreal project. Click on game menu and select vehicle template. Create a project. The project is now open. Right click on the content folder and select show in explore. It will open the project folder. Now close the Unreal project. From here navigate to root folder. To install the plugin we need to create a folder called plugins. The instructions are provided on the github page. Rename the folder and copy paste the files into the plugin folder. Now reopen the Unreal project. You should see the Leap Motion plugin under the plugins folder. If you are unable to see it in your editor, go to settings and enable show plugin content. Let's press the play button to see how the game is working now. Now let's check if Leap Motion is working with Unreal Engine or not. To do that, go here and drag and drop the Leap Desktop Actor class into the map. Change the game mode to simulate. Now you can see that the hand is working with Leap Motion. Let's start with the blueprint code. First open the vehicle template folder, then sports car. From here open the sports car spawn blueprint class. This is the blueprint to control the vehicle. We will use this to make it work with our leap motion. First we need to add a leap motion component. To add that press the add button and search leap component you will find the component here select it select the leap component and add three events on hand grabbed on hand released and on leap tracking data first i will explain the logic with an image for acceleration and brake, I check if hand gesture is in the grab state, otherwise I don't add any acceleration or brake. If the user's gesture is in grabbing, then I check the distance between two hands in the x-axis. If the distance is less than 35, then I add acceleration. Otherwise, I add brake. In the steering mode, I don't check if the user gesture is grabbing or releasing mode. In both mode, I control the steering. Here, I check the distance from the left arm to 
right arm if the distance is positive and greater than 10 then i consider it as steering right if it is negative 10 then i consider it as steering left otherwise considering it is steering straight now we will implement the logic split the structure pin next we need to add enum type variable to identify the left or right hand right click on right hand type and promote it to a variable this will create a new variable for hand type Created two boolean variable for left hand and right hand grab checks. Then check if if it is the left hand or right hand. If it true, it become left hand, otherwise it become the right hand. Similarly, check for hand release. Now focus on steering. First create a boolean variable called both hand visible. This variable we using for to set our both hand is visible or not set the value as shown after setting it check if the boolean is true or false if it is false it means the user cannot control the vehicle to set that copy the vehicle control nodes such as set throat input set brake input set steering input vehicle movement component and brake light knot paste it here set all value 0 and brake light to false finally connect vehicle movement component to the target make a for each loop from this array split the structure pin
check the hand type. we are to store the hand position in the variable for that create two vector 2d variables To set the values, break leapborn data from the array element R. Split the next joint pin, same as the other one. Set X to Y and Y to X. After finishing the for each loop, create a function called get direction and open it. We need one output pin called direction with the type of float. Bring the hand position variable here and split the pin. Subtract the right hand Y from the left hand Y. If it is greater than positive 10 then output value is 1 else make a branch and check if it is less than negative 10 if true set the output value to negative 1 otherwise it become zero add print statement for debugging You can see that it is working. Let's continue. Check if both hands are grabbing. If not grabbing, set all value 0 as we did before.
if both hand are grabbing then check the distance between the two hand in x axis If it is greater than 35, consider it as brake, else consider it as acceleration. If it is brake, set, set throttle input value 0 and set brake input value to 1 and brake light to true if it is false then set brake input value to 0 and set throttle input value to 1 and brake light value make it false We can delete this debug uh, print state from here. Let's check if it is working fine. Thank you for watching this tutorial.